Hi, I'm Greg with BTOD.com and the Breakroom blog. Today we're going to be bringing you a little different style video. We've been getting a ton of questions and they're related to one touch systems with the memory preset buttons on electric standing desks. Now the question is, why do certain products include this and others not? Uh, specifically, Jarvis Fully Autonomous, those brands are currently offering a one-touch system. And products like the Vert Desk or like the Mod Desk Pro, they do not include the one-touch. And so basically what we want to do is we want to talk about two things. What one-touch is and then secondly, what process is required to make it safe. And so the first thing, one touch, basically what you do is you have a preset in your programmable switch, you press the button release, it goes up to the desired height. Uh, it also go down as well if you have that setting set up in your programmable switch. Now, the other option with a programmable switch is where you have presets, but you have to press and hold the switch to get to the desired height. Now, the reason for that is a safety function. What happens in a standing desk is that you would have an anti-collision function. Now almost all of the desks have an anti-collision function. This includes even some of the least expensive products we've, in, we've included in our reviews. And to be honest, a lot of these anti-collision functions are not very good. Uh, they do work well with what they're intended for, which is a hard impact. So things like furniture, if you have a file cabinet, another desk, maybe some type of built-in in your office space. When they hit that, they are able to basically hit down on it and then pull up off of it without breaking the furniture. Now, what we're talking about for safety with a one-touch system is a soft collision. This is things like your fingers, uh, animals, if you have potentially uh, small children in the space. There's another thing that you don't maybe consider and it's in a shared working environment. When you one touch, your neighbor who might be very close in your space doesn't know that you're doing that and they could potentially have their fingers in harm's way. And what we're going to show you today is what would happen uh, specifically with the Jai Kang product because we have the fully Jarvis here when you do a one touch. Now, I have basically set up three different tests. The first is a grape. I did one grape and two grapes, and then we used a hot dog to show, to show the uh, pinch factor. And then lastly, I used two different number two pencils, um, and you'll actually see that the force is strong enough on these desks to break them. And I think after we show you what happens with these different products uh, with their anti-collision function, you're going to see right away that this is something should you decide that it's very important to you, you need to be very careful with it because the desks are strong. You know, at the minimum, what we're seeing right now is 200, 250 pound capacities and products like the Fully Jarvis here, you know, they're rating their desks for 300, 355 pounds. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, what it looks like as it's intended to be used from the manufacturer. And that's an anti-collision for a hard object. So we have the Fully Jarvis and we have the Uplift 900 four leg configuration over here. So I have it preset, so we'll go ahead and press two. And now you can see um, it comes down, compresses on the uplift desk, it actually lifts the leg up and then it pulls back off. And so that's how it's intended to be used. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna show you the close up of the grape, the hot dog, and the pencil. So let's come closer and then we'll take a quick look at these. So the first test that we're going to perform is a single grape. And we'll bring the Jarvis desk down and you can tell it has no problem crushing the single grape. Our second grape test will include two grapes, so we'll add both grapes now. And then we'll bring down the Jarvis table. And you can see again, it has no problem. Now our next test will be more of a pinch test. So we move the tables and we'll be using a hot dog for this test. And as we bring down the Jarvis desk, you can see it makes a clean break right through the hot dog. Now next we'll be using two number two pencils and this first test 
it actually makes another clean break through the pencil. Now the second pencil we use, it actually requires a little bit more force, uh, but you can see that it has no problem breaking the pencil, and then the anti-collision engages and brings the desk back up. So hopefully the video today helped illustrate what we've really been trying to tell people through our own website with our products, the Vert Desk and the New Heights products. We just aren't at a point right now with the anti-collision function that we have available from our Logic Data Control Boxes to feel comfortable enough to put these out in the market and use the one-touch function. Uh, I think you can tell, I mean, don't have a scientific force required with what it requires to pop a grape or two grapes or even a hot dog for that matter. But I think when we see the number two pencil, which is made of wood, and you can actually see the desk come down and crack, and in one case even just break the pencil right in half, that there is enough force, depending on where your fingers are, to potentially injure you uh, if you're not being careful. So what I want to say is, if one touch function is extremely important to you, we want to make sure that you're very careful with it. It is something that I don't think uh, some customers understand the seriousness because of how tough these desks are, how strong these desks are. You know, they're designed to lift hundreds of pounds, and so there is plenty of force there um, to damage your finger, the tendons in your fingers, things like that. And if you have animals and, and small children, again, those are things you need to really be conscious of. So I hope this video helped better understand anti-collision and where we're at in the industry right now with the One Touch system. If you'd like more information, please feel free to visit our blog at btod.com slash blog for blog. Thanks for watching.